What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Monday, January 4th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, so you can get the updates to these sim results as we get closer to lock. I am on live before lock tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time. I will be posting my updates just before I go live, so check it out. Finally, let me know in the comments section, who are your favorite options on DraftKings for tonight's slate? We're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Josh Richardson, Steph Curry, Clint Capella, Corey Joseph, and Harrison Barnes. It's a lot of kings. You're going to see even more. Who will be the top five plays for today? It's time to find out. First up, at number five, like I said, another king, De'Aaron Fox, point guard eligibility, 8,200, projected for 44 fantasy points. You're looking for about 51 in a GPP. I think he hits that 25% of the time. He's in the optimal 18% of the time. I'm giving him 35 minutes. He's a 1.14 fantasy point per minute guy, but I think that bumps up a little bit because I am expecting a ton of possessions. This is the biggest pace up spot that the Kings could find. Golden State playing at the fastest rate in the league. So this is 23, 8, and 4 as a baseline with a monstrous pace. I have the Kings gaining 8 full possessions in this game. That is massive from a fantasy perspective. I love De'Aaron Fox, particularly with Tyrese Halliburton out. I think that's just going to, I don't want to say solidify his minutes because De'Aaron Fox is the best player on the team. He's clearly going to play as much as he can, but... It's also possible that he picks up even more if this game stays close. 35 minutes looks good enough for me. I love paying the $8,200 for Fox. This spot looks fantastic. Didn't take long to get to my number four guy, John Wall, 7,600. Also point guard eligibility. Yeah. 41 fantasy point projection, 48 and a half in a GPP. Hits that 23% of the time. Optimal lineup, 19% of the time. Just for the record, I'm assuming James Harden plays. I'm still giving Wall 36 minutes. Heavy usage, 21, 7, and 5-ish in a dream scenario. Hopefully you get a couple steals. Maybe you get a couple blocks from the greatest shot blocker at the point guard position of all time. It's a neutral pace spot. Uh, 101.3 is where I've calculated the pace. It's up 0.7 possession, so nothing too crazy. I just think John Wall is like a 1.1 fantasy point per minute guy, and he's priced appropriately for this spot. Not at all worried about Dallas's defense, although their offense has been lagging a little bit. Either way, I'm here for John Wall when he is healthy, and he appears to be healthy. He's going to get the big minutes, and 36 looks great. I'm banking on the playing time, I'm banking on the minutes, and I'm banking on John Wall. All right, now it starts getting a little weird. Number three, Sadiq Bey, small forward, power forward eligibility, 3,900. I'm projecting him for 23 fantasy points. You're looking for about 35 in a GPP. He doesn't do that too frequently, about 9% of the time, but I think he's in the optimal 26% of the time because you're saving so much salary. Now, caveat here. I am assuming Blake Griffin doesn't play because this game is on a back-to-back. I'm also assuming that Josh Jackson doesn't play because he left yesterday's game early. I'm giving Sadiq Bey 30 minutes. I think he's going to see a ton of playing time. I'm assuming he's like a 0.9 fantasy point per minute guy. I'm projecting him around 0.8. So I'm being ultra pessimistic. It's a pace up spot against Milwaukee, but I'm trying to bring down the craziness of a Bay production. And even if I do that, even if I project him at 0.78 fantasy points per minute, he still becomes my number three play of the day. So caveat, keep it in mind. No Blake Griffin, no Josh Jackson. If those two things hold true, Sadiq Bey at number three. Number two, we're heading to Houston again at center. 7,400 Christian Wood projected for 41. You're looking for 48. He hits that goal 27% of the time, and he's in the optimal 27% of the time. He's playing monster minutes, 34. He's a 1.2 fantasy point per minute guy with big usage, 24% in this case. That's enough to give him a 21 and 10 and a half baseline projection. I like this spot. Not worried at all about a defensive matchup against Dallas, particularly for Wood. It's certainly not Dwight Powell. It's certainly not Willie Cauley-Stein. So I think this spot is really nice for Christian Wood. And ultimately, I think he's still underpriced. We're going to see this salary rise as the season goes on. I would not be shocked to see him as an 8K player. I don't even know what's going to happen if James Harden gets traded. Christian Wood is going to soak up a ton of offense. Love this spot. It's enough to put Christian Wood at number two. 
but who is number one? Before we hit on number one, one last reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. It's the only place you can get my sim updates. Well, you can also get them in our premium Slack, but you gotta be a premium sub. Go to awesomeo.com to join. The number one contender for this slate, Rashawn Holmes. Center eligibility, 5,600, projected for 34. You need 41. He hits that 20% of the time, and he's in the optimal 28% of the time. The minutes have, are up. Rashawn Holmes in for 32 minutes. Looks like they're moving Hassan Whiteside out of the rotation. Smart move, by the way. It's not a huge usage game for Holmes. I'm giving him 16% usage. That's a 15 and 10 line. The fact that he's 5,600 is just wild. He's just north of one fantasy point per minute, and that's exactly where I have him. He's another benefit to the monstrous pace-up spot for the Kings. Again, gaining eight possessions, that's a lot of fantasy points. That's basically four more fantasy points for a full game. Uh, at, that, at that rate, you're going to get a lot of Kings, and that's why you see Rashawn Holmes, De'Aaron Fox, Harrison Barnes, Corey Joseph. There's probably more to come below that 10 spot. I love the Kings today. They're my favorite team in DFS. And Rashawn Holmes is my favorite play on DraftKings today. Alrighty, guys, that will do it. I just got really nervous. I had to look to my left. I thought that I had my microphone muted the entire time, which would have been ultra annoying. Luckily for you guys, I did not. So I don't have to re-record this. Again, I'm on Live Before Lock tonight at 6 p.m. So keep your eyes peeled. Good luck tonight, guys. And I will see you again tomorrow morning.